Whoa, he did double boxes. First is a story you'll see only on 12 News tonight. The Johnston teenager who was critically hurt in an ATV crash earlier this year is now finally back at home. Thanks so much for joining us here at 4. I'm Kim Kalunian. Our Alex Torres Perez spoke to that teen and his family about the long journey to recovery. Alex. Well, Kim Tyler Fortin is still recovering, but he is glad to be back home with his family and pets after spending the last two months in the hospital. He's now looking forward to for things to get back to normal after this near death experience. If I didn't have the helmet, I would not be here right now, so I'm very glad I had it. Definitely saved my life. Tyler Fortin is grateful to be alive and home after crashing his ATV into a telephone pole back in February. He remembers talking to his dad about a small leak on his tire. And next thing I remember, I was just waking up at Hasbro. Tyler was in a medically induced coma for weeks to allow his body to self heal from the numerous fractures on his face and body. And when he woke up, I was very confused because I didn't know why I was there. I didn't know it was just doing anything with the ATV. I thought it was my bike actually at first. And then everyone told me, and I was like, wow. Tyler went to physical therapy. Easy now. Just take a look. Go. Where he slowly but surely started to get better. His parents there every step of the way. He was like not the best when he first got there. And then we became a complete 180 by a matter of days and he was out the door relatively fast. <laughs> They're just relieved to see their little boy start to be himself again. He is Tyler now. Like, you know, we didn't see that for a while, you know, because he was recovering and it took him a little bit to get back to where he is, but he's doing very well now. So I'm really happy. Tyler still has a ways to go, but he's just glad to be out of the hospital. It felt amazing to be home finally, have real food. And despite the scare, he does hope to get back out on the trails. Probably not anytime soon, but um, when, I, when I'm able to, I would definitely go back out on my dirt bike. And Tyler will be returning back to school on Monday. He will be going part time as he still has some daily doctor's appointments and he should find out tomorrow tomorrow whether or not he has to wear his back brace any longer. So hoping for some good news uh, and hopefully things get back to normal relatively soon. But for now, reporting live in studio, I'm Alex Torres Perez, 12 News. Johnston teen grateful to be alive after being critically injured in an ATV crash earlier this year. 12 News reporter Alex Torres Perez spoke to the teen and his family now that he's back home in this 12 News exclusive. Alex? Well, Kim, Tyler Fortin is still recovering from his injuries, but things are slowly getting back to normal, especially now that he's back home. Whoa, he did double boxes. Day by day and step by step, Tyler Fortin is getting stronger after his near-death experience when his ATV crashed into a telephone pole in February. It has been a very long road. It's, uh, it's been a very scary road as well, especially from the, the very first moment uh, we saw him in the emergency room at Hasbro. Um, and to see him obviously right now is, is, I can't believe that this is where we're at. Tyler ecstatic to finally be back home after being in the hospital for two months. My bed felt amazing to sleep in it for the first time. Getting a full night's sleep without being hooked up to a machine was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> he still has daily doctor's appointments, but he's hopeful those will end soon as his body has been able to heal from the numerous fractures on his face and body. Everything's just been good for me. So hopefully I don't need any more surgeries. If I do, that would kind of suck. Good job. Tyler will return to school on Monday and like any teenager. How are you feeling about going back? Uh, I don't really want to. <laughs> <laughs> but he and his family are still grateful for those in the community who helped them during this difficult time. It makes us feel loved and yes. um, we're very grateful for everyone and everything that everyone has done for us. Yes. Couldn't be more happier. And despite the scare, Tyler says he actually looks forward to riding his dirt bike out on the trails, but adds that won't be anytime soon. Reporting live in studio, I'm Alex Torres Perez, 12 News.